Yellow, yellow, loud. Hey, Brother Lance, you want to open us up in prayer? I am super excited to be here this, tonight. Um, let's keep Pastor Joey and Trish lifted as they're on vacation. Hopefully they're just having a good old time. Love you guys. Um, and first, before I get started, I got some homework for you guys. What God laid on my heart was... Um, Joey actually mentioned this in last Wednesday's service. I believe it was Christmas ornaments. Is that right? Anybody know? Anybody recall? Christmas ornaments. Uh, it was a chapter out of Luke um, talking about picking up your cross daily. And you all have heard it a blue million times just as I have. And I thought, is, I thought what it was wasn't what it is. And so, um, as John asked me the following Sunday, I was already doing some research, and John, uh, John asked me to give the message to the Holy Spirit, and um, so I was just, you know, reading, reading about taking up your cross, and what I thought it was, like I said, isn't what it is. So, I'm challenging you guys to put together a message as if you were going to preach and just watch what you're going to learn, because I had no idea what picking up your cross truly meant what I thought it meant. Um, what I thought it meant was like picking up your burdens or your troubles or, or your addictions or your lust, and that's not what it is. Um, it's submitting yourself daily to God because in the, um, back in, you know, 2,000 years ago, the Jews believed in whenever you carried a cross through the middle of town that, I mean, you, you were getting ready to face a, a crucifixion, a death. And so what God means by that when he tells us about Scripture um, is that um, he wants us to die in him daily, you know, almost as if we're being baptized daily, die daily, you know. Um, and so I got some Scripture. Thank you. Um, Mark eight thirty four. Then he called him along with his disciples and said, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. Joey Brady says it all the time. It's the first thing that I heard that, I, that stuck with me, and I am recovered. More of him and less of me. And uh, that's, that stuck with me, Brother Joey, for a long time. And then um, I need to quit touching my face, don't I? I'm all nervous. Um, yes, thank you, Aaron. So Matthew 16, 24. Then Jesus said to his disciples and said, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. And if you guys notice, there wasn't much difference in either of those. And then if you go to the next one, Aaron, Luke 14, 27. And whoever does not carry their cross and follow me cannot be my disciple. I, I mean, it's there. It's not me. I, I don't, you know, I don't care what you do. That's between you and God. But what I learned from that, it's like a full-time job. You don't go to a job interview, and, and they tell you, you know, hey, you got the job, and then, all right, see you later. And you just go home, and you get a paycheck. You got to go to work. You got to clock in. You got to clock out. And that's, just, that's what it is. Picking up your cross is clocking into work. You got to put into work daily. Hey, brother, church starts at 630. Yes. <laughs> I've been waiting to do that. Sorry it was you. Um, so, um, you know, as I, as I learned about picking up your cross, um, you know, it says in, um, Luke 24 or 22, 42, I think, and this is just a snippet of it. It's not your will, but my will. And so as we go on, 
you know, to, to pick up our cross, what, what, I, what I learned is that you got to say yes to the Lord. you got to walk in His steps. You know, um, you got to learn how to live by observing the life of Jesus the Christ. Say no to self, be obedient to whatever He asks, and no matter how unreasonable it may seem, gladly follow Him. And so I was thinking about some people that had just the utmost faith, who picked up their cross, and as Pastor John has taught us Job, Job lost it all and still had faith in God. You know, we just learned about Abraham. Abraham was getting ready to just sacrifice his son. How many, you know, how many of you guys could do that? How many of you guys could kill your kid and, and, and you know, trust in God? Because I couldn't. I can't. You know, um, <laughs> me and Pastor was just up there talking about some things that happened, and it's just for 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 us, the flesh, for us to overcome some of the things that we've been through, it's nothing but God. All of us have our own story. You know, mine is mine. Mine's no greater or worse than yours. And what I struggle with is picking up my cross. But, again, there's Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They had faith. They walked into the fiery furnace with faith. They picked up their cross and walked on in. And then, um, you know, is it tells us in the Bible that the reward is worth the price. So as we continue to pick up our, our cross, you know, we, we got to think about the reward. Whenever you um, are in a basketball tournament, you know, what's your reward? You're, you're striving for a championship. You know, the glory is here. You know, the, the glory is in heaven, rather. Excuse me. Um, but what really kicked me in the teeth was, are you ready? Are you ready to pick up your cross truly? Because this is what really, really put it on my heart to share was, are you willing to follow Jesus even if you lose some friends? Are you willing to follow Jesus if you lose loved ones, family members, blood, blood, family? What about a job, your reputation? Because I'm sure that I walk around here and people don't think that, oh, well, he's, you know, he's this and he's that. So my reputation has been, in, in some people's eyes, I don't know how you would say it, a fake, a phony, right? Thank you. And so, um, but the one that really, really just uh, put it on me was, are you willing to lose your life for God? Are you willing to lose your life every day for God? Because he done it for us. That doesn't mean that this is going to happen. But are you willing and obedient to be ready to do so? Um, so I don't have a, a whole lot much more than this. Um, but there's just, um, you know, if you do this, it tells us in Matthew eleven twenty nine, 29, take my yoke upon and learn from for I am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest in your souls praise God and then um, Aaron if you could go to the next one. Oh, no you're already there thank you for whoever wants to save his life will lose it but whoever loses his life for me will save it what good is it for a man to gain the whole world and yet lose it or forfeit his very self brother Mike Everybody's just late today. Yeah, we'll just do it again. Um, and then if you'll go to the last slide, please. And this was just confirmation for me. Um, Galatians 2.20, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And that was a big, that was a big determining factor for me because... I don't always live like Christ. I, I was preaching to a guy yesterday. I, I shared this with Pastor John, and I, and I even told him the definition of a Christian is to be Christ-like. You know, would God, would, would Christ do some of the things that I do, that I've done yesterday, that I've done today? You know, would he say the foul things? Would he eat the things that I've eaten? You know, would he, would he do the things that I've done to my body? And so that's what really, and, and it was myself, this is, this is, God convicted me as I'm learning about all this and trying to write it down and put together what I thought was going to be like a 45-minute message. 
you know. Um, but then the next part, in the life I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. And, you know, for, for, for God to save me in my life, what, man, I was a rotten person. I never picked up my cross. Um, but one thing that I've learned, you know, as we're in kids, as we're kids, and we learn like with treasure maps, you got the X. The X marks the spot. If you just turn your head a little bit, it's just a cross, and it's and it's marked the spot for us. You know, in in back in um, two thousand years ago, I, I don't know how how best way to describe it, but when Jesus walked this land, um, the cross was symbolized as something bad. But now it's, it's, it's glory, it's life everlasting to us. And so I just, you know, I, I, want, I want you guys to learn what I've learned, or I hope you guys learned what I've learned, is that picking up your cross, you have to, you have to constantly, and, and, it's, and it's not daily even, it's, it's every minute of every day when you're driving in the truck, going down the road, picking up stuff, you know, when you're out on the farm, when you're out metal detecting, you know, when you're cooking lunch. You know, it's you, you have to constantly, constantly, it, it, is, it is a spiritual warfare. You know, when you're at Toy Tommy, Brother Lance, you know, you got to pick up your cross. And that's just submit yourself to God. Put God before you. You know, you have to follow his footsteps. It, it, it is a straight and narrow path. It is difficult at times for us because we've learned to just go with the world. You know, the world is so much easier. You know, keeping faith in God is like paddling a boat upstream. It's so much easier to go with the water. So much easier to go. But there's nothing down that way but a waterfall, you know. And God doesn't tell you that you can't throw out an anchor and rest. It's not what he, it's not what he said. You can throw out an anchor, but you've got to keep paddling. You've got to keep paddling every day to get to your cross. And as um, that's really all I have. Um, I love you guys. I, I just pray that... Um, you know, as we move forward into this new year, that we just pick up our crosses. Um, we learned this past Sunday about our consequences. And, um, you know, keep me lifted in prayer as I continue because I, I fall short. My wife will be the first one to tell you I do every day. Um, with that being said, I, I got a couple songs. And um, that's it. Love you guys.